Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. And if you couldn't tell, I love the Mad Max movies, If based off of all the branding that I have for all of my work that I do as a film reviewer. And of course, this is from George Miller, who has created this world, and this tells the story of Furiosa over the course of 15 years, as she was kidnapped as a young girl by the villainous Dementis, and how she seeks revenge and finds her way into working with Immortan Joe and leading into the events of Mad Max Fury Road. And this particular story, it's big, it's epic, it's a sprawling, mythical kind of folklore. And there's a specific way that George Miller presents this film with some voiceover and this mythical kind of feel and this this strange, more abstract kind of visual styling to the film that you're experiencing. It does heavily utilize CGI a lot more than Fury Road, even which used a lot of CGI, just not as noticeable. But there's definitely a lot more like artificially creative places and settings in this film. But the visual look to it from cinematographer Simon Duggan, there's some incredible looking shots in this film. There's one particular like reflecting in an eye shot. It just this the visual stylings of this is quite striking and fascinating. The way that this story is told over fifteen years, two and a half hours, it's epic. It's not as jam-packed in terms of action. There's more isolated action sequences in this film, but they're still incredibly well shot, dynamic, thrilling action sequences. I don't know if I would say as strong as something like Fury Road was, but they service the story well, which just has a much more of an actual story over time, over the course of years, as we see... Furiosa going from this young girl full of hope in the green place, this lavish place, this place of abundance, and how her world comes crashing down and witnessing what happens to her mother and her slavery under Dementis and her experiences with the vehicles and everything with Immortan Joe coming under the wing of Praetorian Jack, played by Tom, Tom Burke. There's just so many elements of this story, and it's such a sprawling revenge epic of, like, a Ben-Hur-type scale. There's a pageantry, a theatricality to this that is just bombastic and big and verbose, and it just works so well. There's just an incredible way of this story being told. It could probably be tighter. There's definitely moments where it feels a little stretched out, feels like it's taking a little bit too much time trying to express certain things, especially in like the first hour where it's really set up. And you have Alila Brown, who plays young Furiosa in that hour. She's fantastic. For a young performer, she brings so much to the table. But when Anya Taylor-Joy takes over, she is intense. She is fiery. There's so much going on in her body language, her facial expressions, just the way she interacts with these characters. She only has like 30 lines in the whole film, but she acts the hell out of this. Chris Hemsworth is humongous and towering as Dementis. The theatricality, the camp, everything, the uh, sadistic nature of him and what he would do to other human beings along the way is just fascinating and thrilling. And there's a confrontation between the two of them towards the climax that is so rich and deep and meaningful. And just the acting in that scene is so powerful. The two of them kill it. Tom Burke does such a great job as this Jack character who, through minimal um, speaking and more actions, you really connect with him. And then you have the likes of uh, Lacey Hume, who plays a Morton Joe, replacing the late great Hugh Keys Byrne. There's just so many great character actors throughout this film that bring these characters with so much 
energy to life and there's so many strange and weird characters along the way. This world is just so fascinating. The music the music that Tom Holkenberg created for Fury Road was revolutionary. It was bold. It was adventurous. It was exciting. It was so unique and amazing. This kind of just feels like the greatest hits thrown together, which the music's so great. It just felt, I was a little disappointed that it didn't have as much uniqueness and have its own kind of spin on it. But just the bombast and how this symphony of violence and gore and just adrenaline all comes together. This story of warlords and power grabs and revenge and trying to find hope and keep hope in the darkness. It's all so wonderfully put together. There's definitely pieces of it that I wish would have been tighter or cleaner in terms of the visuals. I do miss a little bit more of like the practicality of some of the other entries in Mad Max franchise. But this is still a towering epic with incredible performances and a tale just so incredible to experience on the big screen. This is a thrilling film from start to finish that tells a grand epic story that needs to be seen on a big screen. And not enough people are, which makes me really sad. But this is a hardcore ride and is certainly worth a watch. But those are my thoughts on Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.